A stampers, it's Gator again, and I've been having a play with this one. I just went over to the shelf, grabbed it, I thought, oh, I haven't had a play with this one yet. So I think this is so cute. So I'm going to show you the card. I'm using a piece of DSP, but I'm going to chop a bit off and chop a bit off because I want to see that. If I fold my card over, because it's quite a wide scene, if I pull that over and once that's folded in half, I'm not going to get to see the lights. So, but what I'll show you my card anyway, I did it like this. I die cut them out. I made them look like they're all carol singing or something outside. Added some stars, coloured them in on the white. It's Winker Stella. Uh, let's see if I can catch the light. Oh, there. Oh, I went a little bit. Oh, there we go. There we go. There it is. Oh, everything in white and the snowman as well. It's got Winker Stella. So the pieces are chopped off. I put inside. And then I don't know why it didn't die. That didn't stamp very well. But and many, and may this Christmas be the best ever for you. Greetings from the gang. Isn't it cute? Love it. So this is for my sentiment. Um, I don't even think I need that much cardstock. I won't get away with it that way. But, let's see. I'm just being a, a skin flint. Oh, I'm just going to take an inch off there. I don't think wasting all that just to chip it away anyway. So... Three and seven eighths. So two and seven eighths. Ooh. Let me measure the width of this first. So the width, the width of this is three inches, believe it or not. Oh, there we go. Less for me to cut away as well. So if I take that down to three inches, that's pretty much right. But I can get a sentiment, I could have my sentiment out of that or anything, so. But I've already got a piece. Love it. How cute is that? I love the polar bear. But I did him slightly brown, just because polar bears are never pure white, pure white, are they? So, so that's for our images. This is the gorgeous stamp set we use. And there's my card. I think it's so cute. So we're going to need the trimmer again. Let's fold my card stuck in half. Keeping the points together. And then just use my bone folder. Perfect. So if you see now, if I put that on there... I'm only going to get tiny, tiny, I'm not even going to see any of the lights. So let's take this down anyway to five and five eighths because that's the width of the card. And then I tuck about an inch off the bottom. I think I then took a tiny little sliver and then I kind of turned it round and I went to three and seven eighths. Oh, now I'm looking again. One, two rows. Oh, that's right. So those two pieces are going to go on the inside. These two bits are redundant now, so we can throw them in the bin. There's no point throwing them away and wasting them. Mr. Boyce is coming upstairs with my cup of coffee. How nice is that? Oh, Mr. Boyce. Oh, this fetched me a tea cake girl on a plate. Oh. Tea cake on a plate. I don't need the plate, Mr. Boyce. <laughs> the tea cake will be gone now. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank You're an you. angel. Yeah. Oh, isn't that kind of him? Little darling. Oh, I love my tea cakes. <laughs> As you all know. <laughs> so now when we post, pop that on there, we get to see the lights and we get to see the trees. How fabulous. There's enough space inside then to stamp the sentiment inside after we've glued and we've still got space to write a little message. If not, we can always use the back of the card. Oh, I nearly thought I was going to put it on upside down then, ladies and gents. There you go, just smush that in. And that is the night before Christmas um, DSP. 
let's get our lights. It's a waste of, it, you know, I don't want to throw these bits away. So now we can follow it through on the inside of the card. Perfect. And with this one, I tried to come to as low as I could to the very bottom. either side but let's pull it down as close to the bottom as we can how's that perfect just leave that two seconds now to go off brilliant we can set our paper to one side we can pop our glue away now for a while because we're going to be doing well again is going to be doing some coloring again always you're always watching me color but you must be bored of it now I'm not though, because I love it. Oh, what's wrong with me? Stop it, it won't go in. I think there's glue stuck around it. That's got it. So let me pop them to one side. I might keep my little card there so I catch the colours. I don't know if I'm going to do all this, exactly the same colours or not, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So let's do some stamping. Oops. So, oh, and this is, and may this Christmas be the best ever for you. Get it really stamped up. Ink tap even. <clears throat> and I'm going straight to the centre. That's better. It's stamped better this time. And I love to clean as I'm going. And then you've got these beautiful little shapes that come with the set. And I just went either side, top and bottom. Oh, I didn't quite make that circle. Doesn't matter. I've got a journaling pen here. Just finish it off. Perfect. Just making sure it matches that one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. So we can pop that closed again now. I like to burnish back and front. Keeps the card a little bit flat. That can go to one side. Let's stamp this wonderful little sentiment as well. Nice and juicy. Oh, lovely. Perfect. And then we can swap that over to this one. And then we can ink up our stamp. Plenty of ink. And I'm going to pop this over to this side because we are going to cut it out anyway. So, just give that a couple of seconds for the ink to suck into the paper. Oh, so cute. I know I can give this a wipe then. Oh, I always like to take the dark off because uh, I don't like it staining anything. I do stay it after a while with the red rubber, you know, but if you can get it off straight away, then much easier for yourselves. How cute is that? I'm loving it. I'm just going to grab my trimmer one more time. I know it seems a bit daft, but if you can save on cardstock, you can save on cardstock. And 
I'm going to die cut it out anyway. So that piece, believe it or not, you can get another sentiment out of that. I've got a little tub there, I just keep those strips in. So that overall piece now you will need, if you are going to do this yourself, to fussy cut out as well. You're going to need that three inches by, I'd say four and a half, you get away with, it's actually four and a quarter, but I'd say four and a half, just to be on the safe side. But I am definitely going to be um, taking out the bulk. So I've got all my pens here. And I'm going to start off with all the light colours, working my way up to dark. Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I'll make a lovely cup of coffee, mind. Right, let's zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. Remember to zoom out, gamer. So this is the ivy. This is for all their lovely little faces. Oh, let me get, swap my glasses, girls. That's better, I can see now. So Santa's little face. And this cute little elf. Because on my other card, I uh, did the red first and the black first, and then coming into these small areas, because he's red and he was red, I smudged a little bit, and that's not what we want to do here. So this cute little squirrel's face is having the light part there. How cute. Where else did I go? That's it for the, I think. Keep it to hand. Then the light crumb cake. This, believe it or not, down here is our polar bear. You can see his foot sticking out there. And I'm only going over the light crumb cake. Like I was saying, they're not... Uh, and he's got his gloves on and his scarf. gets a bit close there when you're colouring somebody who's in already been coloured in bright red. There we go. That's his body, now his face. He could be a brown bear anyway, can he? We don't know. We assume it's polar because it's Christmas, but it could be just a normal brown bear. Let's do his face. And I'll go over that twice just to darken that slightly. How cute! We'll be using this again. I think think. Where did I do it? Oh, I'm looking. Uh, the squirrel. He had a light belly and a light undertail. That's so sweet. And then he had the dark. So, dark crumb cake. Was that the dark crumb cake? Yeah. You oh, thank goodness for that. Just so adorable. I'm not doing no shading. Not on these. It's just so cute. I did do a little bit on the bear mind. Just under his hat. And under his... Where you would see shade under Santa's arm. <laughs> Very subtle. There we go. Love it. And then the reindeer antlers. The carnival's nose. And reindeer's neck brace. The 
I've got all these little golden bells on. How sweet. I'm just going to go over that, make it a slightly little bit darker. Game with his antlers. Oh, it's so cute. Love it, love it, love it. And with him, I did the light soft suede. Oh, and his, his stick up with his arm. He's got a snowman arm. It's tuft I kept going over. To get it darker and darker and darker. So adorable. These little tutsies, look. How cute. I'm just having a look on my other one now. dark now that is right now the bear I did him in blues right next to him in blues so I think I swept it up a bit so the snowman I did in the light sea saucy uh, seaside spray because I represent the snow and the ice and, and I same with this snowball Cute. And I did our little birdie in blue. Perfect. I've got a little bit of uh, pumpkin pie going on for his nose. Perfect. And I'm going to swap up. I did use um, light mossy meadow, but I'm going to use the granny apple green because I think it's a little bit dark. The the green on there. I'd sooner have it like bright and cheerful. So this time, I'm going to reverse his outfit to be green, not red. And his collar and hat and his uh, gloves can be red. We haven't always got to stick to the same. He looks cheerful anyway, doesn't he? And let's pick a colour for the bear. Mm. I did this little hat in red and green. The light, this is the light night of navy. And I did all the snowman in the blue. So cute, you could get your grandkids to sit over and let them, you do the stamping, let them do the colouring. Handmade Christmas cards from the grandkids. 
how cute would that be? <clears throat> so, let's get some, uh, oh, let's see, let's get some Bermuda Bay, is it, on our bear. I haven't used this colour in a long time. Light Bermuda Bay. Oh, that was stiff. Nice icy colour as well. That's cute actually. Liking it. Liking it a lot. And get some dark. Just to alternate his cuffs. And his gloves. And his bauble. How sweet is that? Oh my gosh. So, don't need that one now. What is that? Oh, it's the bronze. Never needed the bronze anyway. Right, now, why have I got this out? I've used it. <laughs> so, I'm just going to go over Santa's boots because they're not as dark as I'd like them to be. It's much better. Colour them in actually. Okay, he's full of and darken his belt a little bit. How cute! Looks a lot stronger now. Now, our gorgeous little penguin. Oh, so cute. I'm going to just turn that on the side. sweet is that oh my gosh I love it so I've got my little gold gel pen and I'm going to do Santa's belt and his little bells Perfect. I can't see anything else that needs to be gold. Oh, I've got the little... I don't know about his beak. What do you reckon? Is it supposed to be black? I did it black on this one. Do you think I should lose it? No, I'm going to do it black. Oh, put that away now. Let's make sure you're in view. Cute. Now we can start on the good stuff, the red stuff. This is the dark poppy parade.
Oh, that is so cute. I'm just going to have a swig of my coffee, ladies. Mmm. Nom, nom, nom. I'm going to get Rudolph his red nose. So sweet. Now for Santa. Oh, I love this bit. Perfect. Oh, I love it. thought. I just don't want to mess up the red. Such a beautiful colour this. Really rich. I like the real red but I think this is just got the edge for me. trying to work that bit out it's between Santa's leg and the bear's leg how cute is that so I know I've just realized I've missed my polar bear's nose and the little squirrel have I missed anything else how sweet does that look I love it I mean, if you didn't want a fussy cut, you could still just add that. But I think it looks better. It looks like they're really out there singing Christmas carols. I'll add the Wink of Stella later. Let's get some. I'm going to zoom back out for a minute. Perfect. Don't need my glasses for close-up. do need the scissors, though, to start fussy cutting. I'm just leaving a little bit of white. Let the scissors do the cutting. You just do the moving. <laughs> Steady hand. I'm not going in all the crevices. Bubble hat. Try not to chop the little birdie's nose off. in those little crevices in a minute.
You use your brother's scanning cup for this. How easy would that be? It'd leave you like the smallest border all around. I know, I've just seen where I've missed. This little penguin's hat. Let's just snip into there. Into there. Into there. So much waste. How cute is that? Right, let me just put the red back. Cute. Oh my goodness, I love it. I didn't do this last time, but I'm going to do it this time. There we go. How gorgeous and cute is that? So let's get some dimensionals on. sentiment. I am going to pen at the ends. Tubbin. So I know I want that in that tree line. Whoops, don't press too hard. No, it's straight. That's got it. Just a matter of peeling these off there. Some come off really easy and then others don't. They take oh it's like fighting with them. So, I'm going to keep this pretty central, quite low down. That is absolutely gorgeous, <laughs> so cute. Right, now for our Winker Stella. And I'm doing this on the penguin, giving his white belly a shine. Santa's hat, bauble, his cuffs, his tush, and his beard. And a snowman. I'm 
not doing it anywhere else. Perfect. Look how cute that is. Can you see? Yeah, there's the sparkle. Love it. And I've got these lovely little stars here that I bought last week in the range. So I'm just going to place one, two, and one here. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. Isn't that gorgeous? And then we got our little card following through on the inside. Oh my goodness, how stinking cute are those cards? How gorgeous. Would you give them a go? Do you think I'm crazy? <laughs> uh, I just love colouring, you know me. Just popping my pens away every two seconds. I would really, really, really love a thumbs up and a share if you don't mind. That would be perfect. If you've enjoyed the video, that is, just give us one of them. That'd be amazing. Oh my goodness, I love it. So the papers again are from um, the night before Christmas. And you can get those from any of your Stampin' Up! reps. The stamp set is called Christmas Crowd. Obvious. <laughs> I just think it's so adorable. And, uh, yeah, I would love it if you press the subscribe button as well. And if you come back and press the bell, don't forget the bell, because if you don't press the bell, you'll, you won't be notified when I upload and I do it on a daily basis so if you want to see what I'm making tomorrow just press the little bell come on over and get notifications right ladies and gents and I hope you enjoyed the card tonight I adore it I think it's the most cutest thing ever so come and see what I make tomorrow have fun love you all bye